Well, hello and welcome to Gymodism Total Notary channel. Today we will do some motor tests and look at my little motor ship here. Um, because I've started building this ship like two months ago, and um, or not really this ship, I completed the motor firing, like the system, like the weapons in this, or two months ago, and around one month ago I slapped together this little ship. And uh, because I've heard that the mortars would actually seek the targets in the air. Unfortunately for me, I couldn't see an effect of this. But um, fortunately for me, um, I did see a video by Lathland where he tested some of the mortars. And it seems that the problem was that my mortar ship um, has set all the cannons to prefer high instead of only high and apparently this removes the effect um, so that the mortar shells won't seek the target um, as they did for for his mortar build there so i'm finally going to overhaul this uh, ship so that it actually can hit some targets which would be beneficial but um, i'm going to show you the ship as is before we fix anything the weapon systems on this is um, uh, it's 10 cannons basically of roughly the same size. Like these two are a little different or maybe quite different in explosive or not that different actually, but they are the same caliber and stuff like that. So it's not so much of a different. So uh, basically uh, what I've done is, uh, let's see here, that menu is so clunky. Yes, I call this little thing the the shugger <laughs> because it shugs shells, and uh, we can just place one down here so you can see uh, how it looks like. Uh, and I like included everything into this. Unfortunately, it has one problem, and it is that uh, it doesn't have uh, a fuse the old system. It doesn't have a fuse, which was kind of the main problem with this ship. These doesn't have a fuses. However, I added fuses uh, to them. Let's see if I remember to auto adjust this thing. Oh yeah, I think I customly adjusted them to be even better. Um, anyways, that's basically that. Um, and finally I've installed in, uh, the weapon systems into this little ship here and like everything is basically ready. But one of the other problems this little ship have is that it flips itself when the AI get destroyed. Uh, it doesn't really have capabilities of uh, not rolling over because it is more heavy in the top than in the bottom. So, <laughs> And I don't want to add lead so I'll see if I can make just these a little bit more powerful or maybe protect them a little bit more and maybe we can mitigate this problem. Anyways, uh, let's spawn a little enemy here. So we're just going to spawn a Marauder with AI activated and all. So you can like see that uh, the recoil is substantial. I think I need to have some recoil absorbers. And well, it just spam shells. I added uh, I added uh, fuses so that they will explode on a certain uh, altitude, like basically sea level, um, but only for half of the cannons, basically, or maybe like a quarter of them, effectively. If I want it to explode on a certain altitude, I need to change the gouge of them, which would be a little bit sad. Now we actually got a hit there. Um, just before making this little video, um, it performed much better. <laughs> Maybe it's just luck um, that it didn't, oh no, wrong menu, it didn't really hit anything. Okay, let's just spawn one there. Oh god. It really needs to have some... Uh... I really need to change it to high because you see like all the shells kind of miss. They don't really seek. So firstly, 
when I tried this, I was a little bit disappointed. Um, of course, when the target, like a slow boat like this, moving straight towards it, it can hit fairly well. Um, I mean, it does pack some punch, especially when all of the shells get in the top like this. Um, it can blow away substantial parts of it, but... Um, I guess it would be okay if all the shells have um, uh, the, the fuse so it explodes on sea level. Um, but I also wanted to be able to take out some submarines as well that are not that deep. But we're going to fix this thing because you can see that the recoil is a problem and uh, also the distance this tries to battle its opponent is also a problem, like holy shit. The Golem turret is really efficient though. Why is it driving through? Okay. Oh lord, this is this. Okay. A mortar ship for being. Oh lord, this is a little bit dangerous, I'd say. Basically. <laughs> no. Great. I mean, okay, we won the battle, but uh, we're not winning any wars with this. Alright, here we are. So I'm just going to add a little, a little Sharon, like, we're just gonna have a little, I don't know, control units, it's not like that expensive, it can be nice to have. <clears throat> I didn't include it first, but I think our, our new version will have this, like that maybe, just something simple. Um, then we of course have the problem with the AI getting blown out momentarily or sometimes so I think we'll need to fix that too if we just can be inside here hmm now I'm thinking that I don't wanna like if it gets flooded I don't want it to sink any more every any like more than it already does so I think we're adding a layer of like alloy to produce some kind of uh, a little bit floatiness. We still have some spaces there between. Should probably be at least better. Maybe we could also get to decorations and basically just. I mean, it will be a very little change, but just add like. A little thin armor plate on the side here. Yeah, might as well take it all the way there. Kind of hard to see where you place the block or not with this texture, but it's nice. Something like that. Maybe it will explode some some damages on the outer part of it instead. Add a little bit more survivability. Okay, and now we come to the big change. So here you can see on cram settings, I set it to prefer high. So it works like a mortar, <clears throat> but it won't really seek the target. So we're gonna change this to only high for all, all of them. Oh right, the AI. I almost forgot. Oh, it's a naval. Circle at distance, combat distance, maybe like Maybe like even 1,000, maybe like 1,600 <clears throat> combat altitude, like holy shit. Uh, I guess we'll just set that to zero. Not sure. um, <clears throat> max roll to target. Zero, zero. Oh, we can set, we need to set it to some degree. I mean, the, uh, the roll and pitch. Um, angles are automatically controlled by general PID, so... Alright, what do we have more? Maneuver, ship or tank. Distance, yeah. Something like that. I think that will be better. So let's save the vehicle and uh, 
Just get out of build mode and spawn a little marauder and see what happens. Shit, that's very close. Did the ship sink itself? Bam! Bam, oh lords. It hasn't flipped itself yet though. That's one good thing. I didn't watch it too closely, but a few shells hit indeed. And maybe perhaps it's not super normal to have 10 barrels of like decent caliber mortar getting shugged out constantly like this. But um, that's the kind of mortar I wanted to build. Just something that just chugs shells endlessly. Alright, we have performed some different vast fixes here. So it seemed that the velocity was a little too slow to reach very far, so we increased the length of the barrels by a little bit, or indeed quite a bit. Um, it was highly needed, so we added fail-saves to the mortars, that was the problem why they blew up, um, basically, on the ship sometimes. Um, and of course, we put a little radar tower here to get better bearings so we can get better aims. We changed the AI to point at from a distance, which it will try to do now. Um, and the combat distance is around 800 meters, which we set up the local weapon controllers to handle too. That all said, we have much better results now, or at least last I tried. So let's try it again. Let's spawn a Marauder on east and see what happens. Now the Golem turret does have quite the reach though. Oh lords, it's even looking like it's going to hit. Slim miss. Ooh, bam! However, the Marauder hit us. That's very not good. How extensive is the damage? Much of the ammo capacity was taken out. That's not very good. <laughs> because of the Marauder's lucky shot, I think we'll just spawn a new one. Because, like, I want to show you this in action. Oh, lords. It started underwater. <laughs> Dives up like a dolphin. Okay, come on, Mr. Bombardier. Yeah, we have some heavy problems. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a pretty good hit. Damn. It packs a true punch, especially when we have groups of these. You can see all the shells lining into each other. It's pretty terrifying, actually. Ooh. Some are pretty off, just spraying shells. Okay, that's a nice alignment. Everyone's spot on. You can see they're trying to bend a little bit. Um, but this is kind of your <laughs> medium range support mortar that's just supposed to be there with a the fleet to um, add some overhead firepower raining down like this. I wouldn't complain too much about the firepower of these, but uh, I guess the accuracy has some parts to be wished for. Well, that's kind of dead, so let's just spawn another one at uh, west. Okay, that's the same, never mind. Ooh. But uh, it definitely can't take a Marauder uh, main gun hit straight to the side. Or it can sometimes take one hit if it's from the side and not from the top, but... Um, I feel that this um, the Bombardier is more firepower than it is armor. Okay, let's see how it does here. It seems that the ones that align well they do pretty damn well but like the golem turret is so efficient that I feel that like the mortars are not really competing with it I mean the ship kind of sinks itself every time it fires but it doesn't seem to 
affect performance in a negative way very much, so, like, who cares? <laughs> um, I think the ship has a problem with it's not able, able to strafe. Oh lord, is it going to tilt over? Maybe. <laughs> It's not able to strafe anyway, so it seems that it's uh, showing its back kind of often to the enemy. Um, that's not ideal. Because it would be better if it showed the front to the enemy. Um, it would have better tracking chances and also a less big uh, hitting area. The Marauder is still a little too whole for my comfortability. I think it should have done a little bit more damage, maybe. Some of the shells actually go straight through. Oh well. Yeah. Well, it's basically dead, but I mean, we had two of them. I must say, I think they're pretty cool. But now I actually want to do a side-to-side -side comparison of uh, high arc and uh, low arc performance. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna load an AI ready platform um, which I built a little turret on before. So we're just gonna remove that little turret because that's not what we're looking at today. I can show it to you another time. Um, but we're going to sub objects and then we have uh, da, 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 da. it's the back slick cod mode oh that's nice then we can have it on uh, um, on basically well we're not firing it doesn't really want to work does it Okay, I found it. I found it. We just need more elevation, which you are only to do with more motor barrels. Okay. Right, now we finally can have that sweet comparison. AI, come on, take it away. Okay, beautiful. Now we have a low firing arc. <laughs> And a high firing arc. Damn. It reaches very far. So who will be the most accurate? The low or the high arc? Damn. This high arc only system isn't... Isn't half bad. It's pretty crazy. It's like, just look at it. Kind of cool, though. This is trying to get the low arc. Now we can see a nice comparison. Beautiful. It's raining like that. Bam. The low arc still seem to be now. I'm not sure actually what's more accurate. Yeah, I think the low arc is still more accurate. Uh, even though the high arc only uh, indeed seems to seek the target, otherwise they wouldn't hit at all. But it's not like overpowered, like this little change is not overpowered in any way. It just makes high arc cannon a possibility you can have. Like, if you choose to have high arc cannons now, uh, like, they don't suck. That's like the big difference. Uh, before, um, I mean, you could technically make some high arc cannons, but when I developed my mortar little system, it was before I heard any news of uh, them actually getting tracking. Um, and I just made it for fun, of course. It wouldn't be efficient. But now, it is definitely okay. So it's nice to see this uh, technology in action here. It will be fun to see now where, the, where we get closer. 
Of course, we're a little bit too far away, so we just spam stuff into oblivion. But that's how it is. However, it doesn't like track too much, is it? See if you can get some better tracking in this like that. The high arc cannon can be behind the, the low arc cannon. So that's a pretty cool thing actually. You could have a low arc cannon in front of a high arc cannon. So you can have a, a lot more high density of cannons there. Now we can see the range of the low arc seems to be slightly longer, but it's so little different, it's probably not a real difference at all. No? Maybe the high arc one has longer range. However, we should keep in mind that this low arc um, can doesn't have the same movability. So we're just gonna add a couple of motor barrels to it. Okay. It seems that they're, ha they're having very similar arcs now. Oh, oh no, not similar. Yeah, okay. From this we can we can conclude that the ranges of the low arc and the high arc um, cannon is similar, but it seems that the low arc one may have a slight range range advantage. Maybe I don't know how much they can steer in the air. But from the trajectories, it looks like it's a slight advantage, but it might be um, actually no difference too. Um, while they track in the air, the flying distance is much longer. So um, let's try and count here a little bit. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, so the low arc still hits more often. Like this can I also have to do with my tracking equipment um, on this vessel that it might be more adapted for the low arc one. Um, since range is supposedly very important for the high arc one. But it seems that with this setup, it seems that the low arc setup does hit more often but then um, the high orc one is just so much cool you can just see it rain shells it's pretty pretty amazing okay now my cannons look very sad because i just feel the pimp them a little bit but anyways i think that will conclude our little mortar testing here and and, and seeking tests so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and do stay tuned for future videos because we'll definitely make more. In any case, I'll see you around. This is Jim with Total Motor Channel, signing out.